Hey everyone, welcome to the Stories of Weird Live, the video podcast where weird people give weird commentary about weird things. I'm your host, Weston, joined by your lovely co-hosts, Victoria and Corey. And so in today's episode, we'll be talking about a killer otter, a vacuumed parakeet, and kids and tape. Because, you know, those are the best things in the world. All in <laughs> all in one package. So, of course, and last but not... sold at Walmart. <laughs> You can get all of those bulk wrapped at Costco. It's like, I don't <laughs> yeah. know how many kill- killer otters anybody would want. You know, just set them upon their enemies, right? I could use an army of otters. <laughs> they, so there saying. you have it. Walmart has everything you need. Of course, you, I'm sure you already knew that. But oh well. <laughs> Okay, guys, and also, last but not least, we pose this episode's weird question, which is, what is the weirdest thing you've ever done with tape? So keep that in mind. We'll be answering yeah. uh, that question at the end of the podcast, and we'll be looking at uh, comments, even if you missed the live podcast, which is happening right now, or it's not because you may not be watching it later. You shouldn't that mess just, with time. This just went all just, sad. It just I was going to say sad. you took you took the DeLorean bad. back to back to just awkward. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's what I do. In reverse. <laughs> And so if you guys want to, if you're here for a, one of the single stories, then there's actually some annotations. Oh, shit, wait, wrong way. There we go. There's annotations <laughs> over here, over here that you can click to on to jump right to one of the stories. <laughs> and with that, we'll get right into our story. So the first one I'll be covering, and I'm calling it Crocodiles and Alligators, bottom of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wouldn't be the, well, would they? No, wait, I thought the bottom of the food chain was like what ate just, everything. The, uh, no, no, the top. The top the we're the, like, we're the top there. of the food chain as humans, for instance. You know, no, I'm just going to go with what the Simpsons said in the one episode where Lisa wants to be a vegetarian. And it's a picture of man and it just has all animals pointing to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just that's, that's how I feel it. But anyways, go on. I'm sorry. So assuming that the bottom of the food chain is animals are animals that get eaten, Crocodiles and alligators generally are at the top of the food chain. Generally, they eat other animals. Well, for this week, it seems like that might not be the case because both an alligator and crocodile were, well, became meal tickets for some, well, what we may consider as unlikely predators, at least of alligators and crocodiles. So better yet, so besides just telling you a story, I actually have some really interesting, fun photos. Hopefully you guys are okay with, first of all, snakes. You guys good with snakes? We yeah, why? We, I was like, we don't have any Indiana Jones in here, right? Like, just, no, no snakes! <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, what happened was... Corey, you look... I'm sorry. Corey looks like he's waiting for a snake to pop up. He's just like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, and it's going to happen now because they've been joking about it. You just... You looked really mad. <laughs> You're just uh, like, I, no. I know it's going to happen. No. No. I'm fine with snakes. Good with snakes? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. It's not good with giant spiders you know how that thing works okay ah, well I will he's a ron f- weasley <laughs> I, I, I will try to yep. find a giant spider story next week just for you and find pictures okay too. yep all right so i'm on it for next week anyway so as you can see i've pulled up the picture of what is a it's actually a snake swallowing an entire crocodile now to be more specific it is a an, an olive python which is located or this picture was taken in queensland australia Oh, and, so the, you know, continent where everything tries to kill you. <laughs> Kang- Got it. Kangaroos are always trying to kill you and, and dingoes or yeah, whatever? Yeah, they kill a lot of yeah. people, actually. Do they? Kangaroos, yeah, they have, have big... you not watched Tom and Jerry? They kick the crap uh, out of you. Uh, no. <laughs> and well, I, dingoes I, I eat your baby. Dingoes eat babies. And um, didgeridoos kill music. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, <laughs> they were doing dubstep before dubstep was. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so the first, so obviously, as I was saying before, crocodiles, alligators, uh, generally they are on the top of the food chain and they're not the ones being eaten. Usually you would think maybe humans are going out, shooting them, trying to get them for their skins or something. But no, this is just nature at work. And there's this python. Here are the pictures of a python literally eating the entire crocodile whole, the entire thing. So let me just... Scroll down a little bit so you can see the whole thing just in its in its belly. It just oh, I've seen that same thing when I go to the mall, you know, <laughs> I go to the food court. That in Walmart, right? 
Yeah. I was going to say, you can also find that at Walmart. Um, <laughs> See, it's usually a pool noodle because somebody thought it was real noodles. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's weird. It's not in a can. But yeah, yeah right. Mm -hmm. No, I just I, it's it amazes me how they can unhinge their jaws. Like, cause I have a really small mouth. I can you know fit like a whole burger in it, but mm. like can't. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure about the whole. Like, uh, I just don't know. I, I think I just, it makes my jaw hurt looking at that. It'd be awesome yeah. if you could do that. Just for the fact is, look how clean that is. There's no blood anywhere. He's and just, my uncle can do that. He won a pie eating contest because he can unhinge unhinge his jaw. My uncle Barrett really? just and he, he just, just ate a whole pie. He ate a whole pie. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> what Afterwards, are you? Just, he bit half a gallon of milk too. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> now just, I don't know. It's insane. Ha have any of you guys ever owned snakes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, one came up through the toilet once, and I figured it's no pet. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I've never owned a snake. Okay. No, I just wanted to make Corey tremble in fear or something. <laughs> Instead, that, I, that is the reddest your face has ever been. <laughs> You're just I've like, seen what? Rats come out of it, you know? Oh. When we lived in Detroit. We had to put a little brick on top of the toilet seat because you come through the toilet sometimes. Oh. That's they get your oh. 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 Well, anyway, Lovely. so what kind of snakes have you? Have you owned pythons or? Uh, right. Yeah, just small pythons. Like yeah. rosy boas or stuff like that? Oh, well, it's a constrictor. It's not a python. No, it, wasn't, it was very big. It was like this big. It was when I was a lot younger. Yeah, I had, <laughs> I had a corn snake, and so we used to feed it little live mice and stuff. And sometimes yeah. the rats wouldn't eat him. Just would let him run around in its cage. So we actually kept one as a pet. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot, actually. And then Weston got hungry and ate it. I, lo I loved the rat. I loved it. Yeah. As much as I love Taco Bell. <laughs> oh. so, Which, as you know, same thing. So as I was mentioning before, uh, so this was, in this particular case, this was a python eating a crocodile. Well, there's also another case of an unusual predator, and this took place on, say, I think it was in Florida, one of the national uh, refugees or something like that. Like the, you yeah, know, sure. yeah. National, uh, I'm sorry, wild animal like park kind of things. It's a refuge, not a refugee. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like, so, some refugees uh, out there so, with an so, otter in some refugee. Like, <laughs> you know, refugee camps are the number one places to find otters. Right. right. <laughs> I, I digress. Sorry. Go okay, on. so I just pulled up the picture right here, and this one's actually gotten really popular too. And this is an otter attacking an alligator. Now, no, that's from no, that's from Benedict Cumberbatch's new Australian movie. <laughs> is my joke for the internet. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out, if you know who Benedict Cumberbatch the actor is, there are a lot of otter pictures of like the two of them side by side doing the exact same <laughs> pose. It's hilarious. You should definitely check it out. Oh. But <laughs> I'm trying to think of an I want to see an actor that looks like a like like an alligator. I don't know who, but like, you know, I just want to find their equivalent and go, okay, guys, you're going to make fun of your own selves on the internet. So do it. And <laughs> like, that's what I want. But well, if you um, find, if you find one, you should definitely comment below. And so we all can check it out and find an, an actor or actress, maybe who's an alligator. Ooh. Ooh. Oh know. my. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's like maybe fun. more of a statement of personality. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just, it's funny. Cause like, if you look at these pictures, it looks like the alligator's like, ah, Why? Well, Why? Like, he's not doing anything to save himself. <laughs> the otter's just like, really, bro? This is how we're going to go? Well, All right. Well, Corey, you were mentioning earlier that it looked like he was giving the back massage. Back massage. Yeah. Like, oh, like right there, like to the <laughs> oh, right, yeah. like to the right. Oh, oh, thank you, Mr. Otter. Oh, thanks. It gets really tough back there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. Thank <laughs> it you. It's great is when thank the otter actually bit into it and realized that the thing was actually stuffed. You know, the alligator's fake already. Someone already killed it and just threw it back <laughs> In there, he's like, he was like he's just gnaw, and I was like, "This is the hardest alligator I've ever had to bite into." <laughs> he just bites into it. He's like, foiled again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! No, it just it does. It like I like how with the snake, it looks terrifying. Yeah, like that's... that is horror. Here, it's like, oh, look at the otter. He's trying. What is he doing for his little buddy there? Like, this is the time that you lie to your children and go, "No, he's just giving him a piggyback ride or something yeah. like that." Yeah, they're snuggling. Like, yeah. Well, oh, well, well then it's it, it says in the article that he ate it. 
Yeah. The, like you just straight up eat it. it. So I, I'm just wondering how many more pictures there actually was like, and they just didn't post it because it's probably pretty <laughs> grueling. Gruesome. Yeah. I, I mean, just, apparently they knew from crunching noises. That's, you know, because that's uh, the sound yeah. it makes when you're eating alligator. I wouldn't know. Well, it also I had says alligator that dis- last week, so you know I didn't make any crunching. No noises. crunching. Maybe it was because no. you 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 know heated it up and stuff, took out the bones. Was it chewy? Yeah, well, it, yeah, it was. It was actually breaded, and it actually tasted not that great. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe go to next Bass time. Pro what? shop, and they have a restaurant there, and they sell weird stuff there. So see, but but order. maybe bread anything. Maybe next time you shouldn't have um, <laughs> your you should you shouldn't have your crocodile. You know, like. Like rare, you should have it, <laughs> crocodile. Well done, D. Well, uh, and the, uh, that was for you, uh, Corey. That uh, was a painful one. In fact, I'm pretty really sure. That was a painful one. I'm pretty sure that all of Australia is just like just exploded. Like, right, it was awful. Um, but then again, you know, what else kind of material girl am I gonna have with Australia and an otter and you eating a gator? I just, I don't know. But well, if this happened in Texas, this, this was uh, this was in Florida riding the alligator. Oh, I'm sorry, Florida. Florida. Still, Australia's mad at uh, me for something. Probably. Um, you can find a way. <laughs> that awful joke. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, speaking of Bass Pro Shops, they <laughs> they have huge. I love Bass Pro Shops. Like, if you're white and you're redneck enough, it is the greatest place in the world. Like, and I'm talking white at heart. I'm not talking skin. Like, you got to be straight up honky, and you got to enjoy it. Cause, honky tonky. Yes, it is <laughs> wonderful. It is great. You walk in there, and the first thing you see is a real live NASCAR. You're just happy. <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> All right. That's how you know it's authentic. And then you see the weird, like, pig snouted tortoise thing that they've got, and it's a weird animal. And so now I want to see, like, an otter go after it. You know, I'm really excited about this now. So apparently, yeah. freshwater otters are, um, they really don't have any predators, freshwater otters. So they are at the top, top. Of the food chain versus the bottom, where they get eaten. You're being utterly ridiculous. So is this like a normal occurrence <laughs> I hope where that they one eat? Hurt. Yeah, like does is this Alligators? is this a weird occurrence or is this like something that? I just want to know if I'm ever in a river somewhere and an otter <laughs> like starts like, giving me a back yeah. massage. Am I gonna you know? <laughs> am I really is just that, being seduced into little, being a meal? Maybe a little more to I the mean, right, a little more to the left. Do you think the photographer kind of knew what was going on when the otter was like splashing some Tabasco sauce on the alligator? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "All right, it's coming down." You know, probably not. Well, I, I'm, so to answer your guys' question about what their diet is, they, usually they have fish and crustaceans. That's kind of what we're we, we're known. You know, they're known to be eating. But I guess in the freshwater environments, they also have and they also eat amphibians and reptiles. Now, I'm not sure about how extreme eating alligators is, but I guess they do eat reptiles still. So you know, this, weird. I want to know what this otter was thinking. Like, he was he just like you know, there's a really good looking little crab and crawfish over there. Yeah, I could have that. I have that all the time. Hmm. Unsuspecting gator. Well, let me just get on that. Like, I just, I would like to know what the otter was thinking. Bring him in for questioning. <laughs> we well, can do that. You know, I, I've been on a diet for the last uh, two years, and uh, <laughs> I thought it was time to just kind of change it up. My wife was keeping complaining about, I'm gaining weight, I'm gaining weight. <laughs> Sweet, I decided man. to go lean and mean and just eat an effing alligator. <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so well, yeah, then. weird. You just d- don't expect otters as being predators eating alligators. So I thought that was yeah. interesting and weird. Definitely. The next like Placid movie is going to be a bunch of otters that kill people instead of a giant alligator. You know, otter disaster. <laughs> well, while I was looking for pictures for the thumbnail, there's actually one of the first images that comes up for killer otters is this like old 1950s poster, uh, like movie poster, and there's otters all over this guy, and he's just he's screaming. You guys, <laughs> that's the opposite of a problem. Like <laughs> otters are adorable, and yes, they're little killing machines, and yes, they're actually um very sexually voracious and they're they will like especially sea otters sea otters are totally mean to their prey they play with their food in every sense of the word before eating it i don't know about river otters they might be a little bit more or less food rapey but i'm not sure I don't so know. i don't know <laughs> but, yeah so um i'm just curious like i want to know if there's I want to know if, like, in the wild, wild, like, this is a this is a refugee camp, apparently. I want to know if in the actual wild, like, otters do this. 
I want to see a sea otter take out a shark. Done. <laughs> you know what? I hope we get some pictures of that. You know, Mr. Right? Otter, if you're watching, we'd love to have you for an interview sometime. And just if you could just tell us. I want to cuddle your little face, and but with gloves where you can't bite me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cool. And with that, guys, let us move to our next story, which is about a parakeet in a vacuum. Tell, tell us more, Corey. What is that all about? Uh, it's about a parakeet in a vacuum. What else is it supposed to be about? Was it Tweet eating a vacuum? Decides to do house cleaning. <laughs> so I'll, I'll start off by at least telling you what, uh, what had happened was this eight-year-old parakeet uh, yeah. was looking for a dark place to lay its eggs. Oh no! And this is it <laughs> crawled inside the vacuum tube, and the owner didn't know that that was in there, and started it up, and it went floop right in there. <laughs> Did you just hear this? And my favorite part, <laughs> my favorite parts, of, my favorite part is all of a sudden I heard noise. I looked at the other end where air comes out. And I saw feathers. <laughs> I shut it off immediately and knew something was terribly wrong. Did it survive? No, something's wrong. It survived, but barely. Like they had amputated its wing, and so uh, it it barely lived. I have a still. I have a still from the video. I think the playhead is unfortunately in in the way, but you can just yeah. It looks like they're doing little. Yeah, it's on a table, and there's yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I I don't even know. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, I'm not sure if that's the nozzle or something. It's Aww. it's weird. I don't know. That's that's what it crawled into was the the nozzle of it. And it ended up actually in the vacuum cleaner, you know, in the actual dispenser area. Oh gosh, ah. ah. And then the feathers Dude, blew at the back end. These people need to Make clean little, their shop back. Making a, a tiny little <laughs> so, little pillow with feathers. Yeah, it got really messed up and ended up in there. And then the, I'm sure the family paid so much for the veterinarian just to save its life. Probably. Oh, oh man, it's I'm watching the video on silent, so I'm like making my own commentary. And this lady <sighs> is just like she's pointing out where the bird went through in the shop back, and I'm just going like this is needs Billy Mays going, We'll shop your animal. Like, you know, we'll suck up all feathers. Billy Mays' <laughs> ghost, you mean? <laughs> okay, fine. The British version of Billy Mays since he's still alive. But still. Oh yeah. And suck up your Anthony parakeet. Something. Yeah, I <laughs> right? sound just like him. Want some scrambled parakeet eggs? <laughs> Looking to make a very small pillow. So wait, now did the bird end up laying her eggs and then, or the? I don't bird... think so. Oh, I don't think okay. So. Got a little. So, oh, she's probably too traumatized, and they scrambled inside. That's just awful. <laughs> don't uh, laugh, uh, Weston. It's I'm terrible. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had, eggs or- I had ed- eggs earlier today, so it's. So did I. They were delicious. <laughs> they were great. Uh, they, they were, were great, great scrambled great. eggs. They were fantastic. A little bit of pepper. So the bird's name is Birdie. <laughs> wow, that's original. original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, that's I just... darn original. So I, I kind of was <laughs> at the point where, you know, where they were like, oh, the bird survived and everything. And I just kind of at the same time where it said, Birdie is no longer able to fly. I was like, it's no longer a bird. <laughs> that, wait, what is it if it, if it's not a bird? Is it just burr? Burr. <laughs> D has nothing to do with wings. <laughs> the, the D means you fly. You can fly. Really? Yeah. We're going to make that joke. Oh, the D right? gives you wings. Because it's called Red <laughs> no. Bull. No. You know, if you just Okay, bull. now that's better, Corey. That's better. That is better. I, you know what? That was clever. I'm, give you the I'm, wings. I'm, I'm going to allow that. It was clever. Weston. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even mean to. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I don't, okay. I don't even know why they keep it in a cage at, at the point where it can't fly. You might as well just leave it out so it can go well, crawl no, in another see, vacuum. Problem, I was gonna say the problem <laughs> is because then they'll be hoovering and then the boom <laughs> go over it. And oh, you'll see it in a little wind cycle. No, our birth that like, just cost us four grand to freaking. I'm flying! Trip I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, you baby. Bought a Dyson. You should have should bought a Dyson. A Dyson. <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten oh. clogged. I wouldn't have gotten clogged. Oh, right. My God. Oh, what about those? Like, okay, speaking of Dyson, you know how they have the weird like fans that Dyson makes now? That's like a, just a ring. Yeah. Just put yeah. the bird in that, and it can just like aerodynamically fly. Like, that's all it needs. I'm just, pretty sure they can't the afford breeze. it after they paid for the the vet bill. This is true. Mm. My whole thing is, if you look at that bird in that one picture, if you look at her eyes, she saw some stuff in that shot back. 
It, yeah. She's seen some uh, hell. Let's see. Well, they were and saying it, it was barely own... even responding. It was like barely consciousness. You know, had consciousness. Well, it, it, they pulled it out of the the trash bin area. So, like in wow. the video, wow. she's pointing at all the different components and the um the canister that she said was violently cycloned. And she's pointing it all out. I'm like, lady, I know it's a shop vac, but all that dust, like, how do you know you didn't just shop up all the other birds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is birdie three. We're missing birdies one and two. I think they There's flew away or cat oh. ran away too. <laughs> she opens it up and it's all you just see there. skeletons wrapped in the in, like the in inside parts, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I don't know. So I was really laughing at the fact is like when she's kind of pointing out the vacuum, she's air guitaring. You know, the whole time. So uh, I thought that was really weird. She's got the hose and she's air guitar in it the whole time. And I was like, this is weird. So I'm definitely going to share the link to that video in the description. So because you guys obviously need to watch it from the descriptions. I think everyone's giving you right now. (laughs) It's just it's. But yeah, so glad glad the bird little parakeet's live. I'm not sure how good the quality of life is going to be, but hey. He's still alive. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? That that bird needs to like redeem its life. Needs to needs to take back a little bit. Needs to eat her owner. I'm just hey. saying, if she could like unhinge her little beak and just eat the owner, just I would be much more impressed. Cause call, that's up the, the call up the call up the otter. Hey, so how do you right? kill things and eat it? <laughs> yeah, right. I I I need a back massage, friend. <laughs> Wink, uh, I got a lady in the punch, punch. I got right. a cage to f- hide the body. And a <laughs> I'll send you a tweet. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. He well, knew it was coming. yeah, I, I I did. And with that, <laughs> we'll move on to our next story, Victoria. And you got some. There's tape and kids. What what's going on with that? You know, when you preface it like that, I just I'm waiting for CPS. So how many how many kidnappings how happened many in your story? Yeah. Are they um, gone? <laughs> No, okay, so this particular teacher, I mean, we've all had those teachers that just hate it when you talk over them. I mean, in, in high school, you always have the teacher going, I'm not going to talk if you're going to talk. And then it's like, okay. Um, but then you have the, you have those teachers that are just tired of the, you know, the chatter and yep. everything. So this particular teacher, her name is Priscilla Davo. She is a Spanish teacher uh, in the UK. She um, pretty much has just... 10 year olds and 11 year olds in her class. And we all know that being a preteen, you're loud and obnoxious because your hormones are putting you through, well, you're putting through everybody through hell around right. you. So she decided that she was going to take matters into her own hands. Hmm. Well, her own hands with some scotch tape. So she decided to tape, allegedly, uh, decided to tape her students' mouths closed. Hmm. Old fashioned. And <laughs> right i was gonna say that's all i mean what happened to just backhanding a kid i mean come on y- yardstick like, uh, yardstick yardstick oh wait we're not at a catholic school i, guess. I mean I first know. of all have you seen how much school supplies are did she get like did she get a deal at office depot or something and just it's, goes mm, yes i need that cello tape please because i'm I just i know i'm gonna have some really annoying children i mean or did she is it her own yeah, part of the school or, budget right just put that in get reimbursed later right or, you know, I, I guess, like, is it a tax write-off? I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, but she would put, right, and now she'd put tape over their mouths, and apparently there's a lot of kids that told their parents, look, I'm scared of my teacher because there's a lot of, like, tape on our faces in class, and I'm just, you know, I'm not fine. So one yeah. uh, one mom said that, you know, my son had the little hairs on his upper lip pulled off by the tape when he took it off. And, of course, all I can think of is, one, that's really painful, like, poor kid. Two, what's going to be worse is because whatever hair is gone comes in darker. So he's going to be 10 years old with a freaking <laughs> Tom Selleck mustache already. So, right. hey, there's a – no, but there's a sunny side because, hey, you got to rock a Tom Selleck mustache, rock it. Um, That's right, Higgins. <laughs> and then they were like – It's you know, a problem that, when, it's, when it's actually a girl, though, that has the, the mustache. So I know, right? Well, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's because I'm weird and internet. I apologize. But – if this had happened to me and I grew a Tom Selleck mustache, I would not be upset. Like, <laughs> you can't be mad. You can't be mad. You'd be mad when you're at a job interview and say, I'm sorry, you cannot work here at McDonald's. Your mustache and I'd go, is And I would go, hmm, that's a, that's a pity. So I can either be in a TV show or go to the carnival. One of the two. 
Either way, I'd be making more money than I am now. Bazinga (laughs) to college students. But so this other this other student, his name's Ryan. He said Mm -hmm. that he he claims that Miss Davo put seven pieces of tape over his mouth for 25 minutes because he was being too, too rash and too um, and too loud. And so. okay. Yeah. So he's like, you know, she lined us all up and I was saying to her, why are you doing this? And he goes, I'm scared to go back to the classroom. My best and favorite part of this article, if you have it up, um, I do. Mm Weston, is that if you go down to the last two pictures, I just like there, it's a kid and it's the uh, student Ryan, he's 11 Mm -hmm. and he's, uh, he's got tape. He's got like, it's packing tape. Basically he's got some packing tape up. And same with uh, Stacy Bradbury and her son Thomas. I, when they took this picture, it looks like I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, put a statement like "no tape on me," but it looks like it's part of the new Black Panther thing, except it's for tape. It's like I don't know. It's like Scotch versus duct tape, like is what's going to happen. So the ducks are coming. The duct tape people are yeah. coming. Yeah, and then okay, look at Miss Bradbury. She's just like, that's right. I'm in the I'm in the news. I use tape on my son and I beat him with a stick at home. But no, no, yeah, teacher's got to pay. Oh so yeah, she, I, she beats yeah. him with oranges so it doesn't leave bruises. You know, she does. in a sock, in a sock. Right. You know it. Look at her. She's just like yeah. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> she just that is not a great picture to put up in my opinion. It just looks like she's she's just like you say anything about this, I'll tape you. <laughs> like so to Ms. Davo, there are better ways to you know make kids shut up. Um, there's other ways to instill fear in them. It's called psychological fear. Okay. You just, all you got to do is get in their heads. It's sounds like the tape easier. is doing that. I don't want to go to class. Right. I'm freaking me out. I don't want to go to class. It's yeah. But I mean, but, but I think she had a hangover and she just couldn't listen to it. Was like, no oh, tape. Oh. That, you know what? Actually, <laughs> it's really funny. She's ah. suspended. She is suspended. Um, or one of these other students is suspended as well. I'm sorry. It's not a student, another teacher. It's not the same teacher, but a fellow teacher. Um, is suspended for six months pending an investigation into claims where she appeared drunk to teach a class of kids as young as seven. Now, one, that's really silly to put at the end of this because I'm like, okay, that's a non sequitur. But it's really funny you mentioned the hangover. So I'm just thinking like you're teaching 10 and 11 year olds. They're yelling at each other and you're just completely wasted from the night before. And you decide to just tape. Yeah, she wasted. You just decide to tape their mouth shut. I'm just going, you know, my mom threatened to tape my mouth shut. Um, Instead, she would just backhand me when I mouthed off like there's a difference. Neither one of those to me is going to teach you any different. It's just going to teach you to that you can't trust anybody. You know, I think Um, super glue would be have a greater impact. I think that would get the point across better. Yeah, I guess. Or, you know, I don't know. There's (laughs) there's better ways to do this. So, yes, yes. It's weird because who the hell just decides um, I'm going to take some tape and just tape your face shut like and, and you're a teacher. Like you are the second most looked upon people because you work with children. Right. No. Where's your common sense? You obviously have none. But so (laughs) anyways, I I guess. But I don't know. I just I feel bad for the kids if this is true because, you know, it's kids claiming stuff. So can't trust anybody is another thing. But it does. No, that is that is totally rude. And I just that poor kid he's just so mad and he's got that that tape up i man i feel your pain like i mean not that i feel your literal pain but right well i mean you could find some tape right now and just throw it on there and just rip it off and then you can you know throw your fist up in the air and say i'm with you i know what it's like i know what it's like no i don't have mean te- well i had a mean teacher no I'm kidding i don't have enough <laughs> teachers here that tell me to shut up i mean you guys are on Skype, so until one of you bursts into my room and just takes duct tape and puts it on my face, then we're fine. But pro tip to any students, duct most tape, types of tape, 90% of tape, duct tape or cello tape or packing tape, any, uh, any of those, the sticky residue on it, mm-hmm. all you have to do is somehow lick your lip and moisture will be able to take away and you can escape it. Also, if you're kidnapped, that's good too. Oh, good to know. Yeah, the wetter it gets, the more it falls off. Remember that, you Corey? Can that, you get kidnapped that again. That literally happens the other way around, too. Well, if you when just, like, stick your you, tongue on it. Oh. It falls off. <laughs> oh. Well, okay, well, you know, I know my <laughs> pun was bad, but that was rude. So, anyways, I thought it was weird because, like, really, who decides to tape their, tape. like... I would have just pieced out and been like, fine, y'all can teach yourselves and just right. walked out, so... 
Well, you just you don't in, touch a was kid. Was that in the UK or was that actually here in the US? UK. UK. Yeah, in the UK, I think they lock them in there though. Like they shut the gates and stuff. So yeah. It's not like you're piecing out anywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this was at the Church of England school too, so. Ah, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess every time you hear Church of England, I think you know anybody being punished should be just beheaded. But that's just because it's Henry VIII. Uh. <laughs> so speaking of the tape, let us address the weird question, which is, uh, yeah. what is the weirdest thing you've done with tape? Now, Victoria, you said you had one already, so why don't we start with you first? Um. Okay. Uh, I was twelve, and um, I did my first stint of shaving my legs. And, um, <laughs> I, uh, had a hard time getting, cause you know, you're 12, it's been 12 years since anybody, you know, since your legs were baby smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, also in my family, this is literally what grows back like <sighs> on your leg. Mm, that's good. I was going to say, if you're not aroused now, you will be. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, pretty much you, you become a gorilla. And <laughs> so, um, gorilla tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go die now. Uh, and so I had missed a spot. Ooh. And okay. So this, I, there's really two sides of this. One was, this was me and I missed a spot. So I took just packing tape and decided, okay, well maybe I could just like rip it out. Cause it's not a lot. Right. And, um, I forgot about it and kept it on. So, um, see, I just, I just, Corey's just like, he can't even handle it. It's like, oh, gorilla <laughs> tape. I think I got some in the garage. Right now. So I left it on all day and forgot. And it was just a pain on the leg to because it was clear and I'm dumb and I forgot it. So um, but my brother duct taped uh, part of his leg and like most of it and then tore all his leg hair off. And he was 20 or something like that when that happened. And I feel like you told me the story before, as weird as that might be. Uh, But didn't he not did the pain not phase him? Or is that I'm I'm thinking about somebody else? Like it, you just, might have been, I he told me that it that it you know it hurt but he like it didn't hurt him as much right so he decided to go fire shaving instead which is a whole nother weird thing but um yeah so <laughs> Corey's like yeah. to this conversation <laughs> we'll say that for next but, episode so yeah. that was my weird tape fun okay so, yeah uh, I I think really the the weirdest thing I remember doing with tape was. I'm not sure if you guys, it, your elementary schools growing up, you guys had the fundraiser where you you would tape the the principal against the handball court. Did no, guys... we never did that because at my school, uh, if you did that, it was a hate crime. Oh, uh. okay. <laughs> well, I guess you should definitely check what district you're in before you start taping people to walls. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I remember to me, that was the coolest thing. Just being able to use so much tape to actually have somebody on a wall where it's only tape. That's the only thing that's holding them. That's and really cool. That's, I've seen it happen, and that's pretty darn neat. It is neat. <laughs> so, you have to find a really nice, smooth wall, too. Don't ever do it on a stucco wall. Oh, like, no, no. We used the handball court wall. Very smooth. Very they, smooth. <laughs> very, you know, very smooth. Yeah. <laughs> as smooth as my leg was the day that I pulled that tape off. <laughs> so, Corey, what about you? Uh, I, well, there's two things. Wes and I put a little link up if you want to look at that and be amazed with, with, I knew I, I knew that it existed. So I had to, <laughs> I just, I just read the, the, oh my God. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a second. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm going down. I'm going down. So wait, <sighs> tell, tell me what it is before I open it up. Oh no, it's, um, no, you gotta see it. It's a picture. It's picture. all done with tape. Yeah. No, it's, it's all, not. Uh, it's not weird. Okay. It's just right. when your when your URL ends in strange fetish, you kind of <laughs> weird about it. But... All right. Excuse me. All right. All right. So, <laughs> so we are looking at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in tape, made completely out of tape. That's awesome. You know, it's, so... it's called a morph suit, guys. That's <laughs> less creepier. I'm not thinking of like much. Power Rangers, like morphing time. Oh God. Sorry, that's so, uh, ni- so... It's so 90s, but or is it late 80s too? I don't know. Besides that, I think the weirdest thing. Do you guys remember Liar Liar, where he tapes his face up and? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. tried to do okay. that once, and I gave myself a paper cut in my lip from the scotch tape. Oh. Oh. So I was bleeding on both ends. Oh. Because like I thought it was hilarious, so I tried that one time. I was like, Arr! and then I did that, and I had it in my mouth, and I like kind of pushed down, and I was like bleeding, and I was oh. like, oh, it's the worst thing ever. It wasn't funny at all. 
damn you, Jim Carrey. And then, you yeah. know, he has the balls to do it again in Yes Man. And you're just like, nope, yeah. nope, I'm not falling for it, dude. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that's awesome. Just wrong. I really want one. One, I one, think one of those oh, suits. I have a, another thing that happened to me one time I was when I was working at the Museum of Photography I was pulling up gaffer's tape and I really wasn't paying attention because I had the roll around my wrist yeah uh-huh. and I was peeling it up and I was kind of rolling into balls well one time I peeled it up and it wrapped around my wrist well I wasn't paying attention I thought it went on the roll of tape I was like oh I'll just peel back off the roll went around my wrist and I it took a little bit and then all of a sudden like I moved and all of a sudden it was stuck to my shirt and then it was stuck to my wrist. Oh, no. And I had <laughs> a fun bit of peeling all that off with my hair. Oh, mm. oh. You had, like, nice striping action going. <laughs> it had complete and utter. And what's funny is there was, like, a racing stripe of just hair, like, thin <laughs> mounts. Uh, yeah. My boss laughed at me so hard while I was basically <laughs> crying while trying to take that oh. off. Oh, it- that's just... Not right. Yeah, I, I don't want yeah. for that and one. And what sucked was the tape wasn't sticky afterwards. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just so much hair. <laughs> See, I'm, Lovely. I'm, I'm not really that hairy of a guy. So I'm, I'm, I'm not really hairy I mean, either, but it's enough. I'm not that hairy of a guy, but, you know. <laughs> that's Well, hey, that's great. That's always good. I, I don't think we grow hair that up here, Victoria. Yeah, you do. <laughs> what, nobody else has hair on their arm up uh, here? I bet, like, everybody right now is looking at their arm like, do I grow hair? Uh, you do. You grow hair up here. Try, try to look your elbow. Uh, I grow it underneath. It's not on top. I did this, sir. This oh, is the other uh, side. I crossed the line, if you will. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're just all rubbing arms. <laughs> this is this no, is the just... weirdest part of the show. We're just like, ooh. I can use oh. some tape right now. Yeah. So... Right. <laughs> well, there. Oh, you, yeah. Well, there you have it. We have all had our weird tape experiences. Some more painful than others. I'm yeah. actually now I feel quite fortunate that mine had no pain involved at all. Well, not for oh. you. Right, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Your principles like I do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, we hope you guys will also comment below with your weirdest tape related experiences. I'm sure there's got to be some weird ones out there that you guys have had, you know, personally experienced and whatnot. So we hope to hear from you about that. And I think, though, we are out of time. We've gone through all of our stories, and we've talked about our weird questions. So we are good to go for this week. So we'll be back next week live. Remember, this is a live show where you can interact with us live. So we highly encourage you to come watch on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And let's see. Also, uh, please, let's see. I'm trying to remember where the graphics are. So if you notice, I have a nice, big, pretty subscribe button. So you should definitely click on that and subscribe to our channel. So, you know, you can catch all of our episodes and join us for our live stuff. And actually, in the next month or so, I'm going to be really cranking out a lot of new content. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to enjoy that as well. And, of course, share <laughs> share this podcast so you can share your weird experiences with other people. Like it because, you know, we all have egotistical complexes and we, we just like likes and, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> yep. My self-worth is devoted to what the Internet says is good of me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> strangers. <laughs> 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 and with that, I think we're just about good. Anything you guys would like <laughs> to add before we close? Alligators. No, I'm hungry and I want to. Uh, some want a otter gator. massages. You want a gator? <laughs> I would like an otter massage, please. <laughs> Not the weirdest thing I've ever said. Um, <laughs> it's true. It's but true. one of them. This is one of them. Mm. Yeah. Right. That one's in the books. We should get a group on for it. A group on oh, for otter for... massages. So can we only go to Florida to get them? No, there's otters everywhere else. Okay, they might not, not want to give massages though. What otter doesn't want to give us? I can't even say that with a straight face. Um, fine then. We'll find the not picky otters. We'll pay them in clamshells. Fair. If sea otters. Fair enough. Well, look into the Groupon. Maybe we'll see if we can find a Groupon for those otters or call up Mr. Otter and, you know, get some advice or references. But anyway, we'll see you guys next Thursday. Stay weird and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. See you, everybody.